Science Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. I think we're all excited about our special guest tomorrow in the KRBE studios. It's Bailey Day. What's Bailey Day? Well, Bailey is the golden retriever that we met a few years ago at Texas Children's Hospital. Um, she, Bailey is one of their five golden retrievers for Positive Play. The Positive Play program is where they bring these very specifically trained dogs to the different patient rooms to help them, to soothe them, to calm them, to get them through I mean, these, these procedures. We have cancer children patients. That are we fighting. have heart um, transplant patients, the cardiology unit. I mean, you name it. They've got a very specially trained dog for that unit. The dogs are donated to Texas Children's by a company that trains them for the purpose of being animal-assisted therapy dogs. And it takes a long time to train these dogs. Yep. A long and time. It, besides the grooming, the care expenses, uh, the specialized child life handling and vet care, uh, it costs about $800,000 to cover the costs for the working life of a dog at Texas Children's, which is five, which is five to seven years. Bailey is retiring. We've had Bailey on twice on the Rule and Ryan show, and Adair, her mom, is going to bring her, and we're going to have. We have all these great pictures. All of day, Bailey we're going to try and raise. Actually, you could even you could donate now to yeah. that number. We can help pay for Bailey's replacement. Yeah, we are celebrating her career and her retirement by raising funds for the Positive Play program to donate even right now. Just send our call letters K R B E to the number five one five five five. If you, everyone loves dogs, mm-hmm. you know somebody out there, and you always like to donate. Do it for Bailey. I, I hope they're going to do something special for Bailey at Texas Children's. Yeah, you know, sure like, they are. Think about all the lives that dog has impacted. The, the, the parents and the, and the kids that we talk to. Mm-hmm. Even Every there year. at the end of some of their lives. This is amazing, amazing. We're amazing celebrating program. Bailey's career and her retirement by raising funds for the Positive Play program. Again, to donate right now even, uh, just text KRBE to 51555. We can't wait to see Bailey tomorrow. It's going to be so fun. She'll be on the, well, Adair, Bailey will be here. Yeah, yeah Bailey doesn't talk. No. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I don't cool. think she even barks. <laughs> <laughs> How much does that cost? She just stares at us. She's pretty yeah, quiet. She, yeah, she doesn't bark. She no. just stares. She's and, trained not to bark. And sits next to you. That's what, that's what So tomorrow's Bailey Day. JS is back. Back again. It's the Rule and Ryan Robocall. Call. This is the most up machine I have ever heard. 104.1. KRBE. Now, usually I would tell you to go to KRBE.com and get with Special K to mess with somebody in your life, but I know Special K is full. I do, I, mean, <laughs> I do have a lot of requests right now. Uh, one of them just came in, and I, it says to fill out the, the one question is, what is your idea? Here is the idea. 1324 Pine Street. Oh, that's not going to help. No, well, you <laughs> need more than an address. Well, that person that lives there. I'm gonna pr- I, I swear to God, one time I'm going to do one of these and just call the person and be like... Hey, so 1324 Pine Street. (laughs) (laughs) And and then you get arrested. They start crying. (laughs) That's that's where I got an erect. What's happening? That's where I lost. Well, you got to pay attention to the questions, answer them appropriately, and then Special K can get back with you to punk somebody in your life. Brandon, answer those questions. What's going on, buddy? Hey, guys, uh, I want to prank my wife because we just uh, came back from a overseas flight. Okay, and what's going on with that? We're enrolled in, like, those rewards programs with the the airline, Mm -hmm. but um, I forgot to, you know, punch in our numbers when I made our reservation. Oh, no! (laughs) (sighs) Yeah, whoops! But obviously there's evidence that we flew, so, like, we should be able to get them. And I've been, you know, she wants me to talk to the airline and, uh, you know, get them to give us the points retroactively, which they should. But I thought it would be funny if they were. So they went to Paris, Texas? Uh, Paris, France? <laughs> Paris, Paris, France, or Texas? Is <laughs> a Paris, Paris, Texas. difference. Well, Paris, Texas is about 300 miles away. Right. right. Yeah. And if you're going to Paris, France, you really want those miles. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So pretty easy here. We're just going to try to get her miles back onto her account here on the Rula and Ryan show. She is not expecting a call from the airline because this was her husband's job to do that. So let's see if we can convince her that it is true on the Rula and Ryan show. Oh, hey, good morning there. Just want to touch base with you. We got your application for those points that you're missing from your flight. It's the... Oh, okay. Oh, I thought my husband was dealing with that. Okay. Wait, how did you get my number? Well, here at... 
Airlines, we have everyone's number. <laughs> no, actually, you're the backup number for him, emergency backup. We couldn't get a hold of him, so I'm hoping you can approve the points here that y'all are going to get. Yeah, okay, great. What do I need to, what do you need from me? Okay, well, it's actually an automated system. I don't have the authority to do that for you. So if you just follow the prompts, it'll put those points all in your account, okay? Wait, I, wait, I can't just do this with a person. I hate those systems. Oh, they never... Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. How about that? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Reward Miles Admission Center. Flight? What flight number are you requesting rewards from? No, it's two different flights. You said, flight number. Well, there are two. No. No. We cannot find, flight number. Well, there are two. Um, agent? Main menu, thank you for calling to book a flight. Press 1, for cancellation. Oh Press 2. No! <laughs> you said, no. Yes. Why did you call then? I'm trying to get miles for my trip to Paris. Uh-oh. Got it, Paris. Uh-oh. Yes. We will credit you 300 miles. 300 miles? Paris is farther than that. Agent. Paris, Texas is 300 miles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Incorrect. Back. Are you calling me a liar? No, this is, this is f***ed up. Agent. Look, look, I can put you back to the main menu if you are getting unreasonable. No, no main menu. Miles. Paris, France. Main menu. To book a flight. No. No? Agent. No? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no! No? Do you want to call back when you have your life together? Uh, God, f*** this. I'm hanging up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hello there. Hello? Hello? Hey. hello, hello. A person. Hey. Oh, my God. Yes. Hello. Oh. A person. Goodness. Oh my God! Thank God. Okay, the automated system is not working for me at all. I need a human. I need a human to talk to. Oh, okay. Or maybe you're not working for the system. I don't know. It's a pretty simple system. Are you? Well, are you simple? I, I don't know what you mean by that. But I'm just trying to get my miles. I went to Paris, France, on a trip, and I'm trying to get my miles uh, for the trip there and home. Oh, okay. Well, we wish you luck with that. I'm so sorry you couldn't get through the automated system, but if you call us back... No, 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 Agent. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, this is Agent Special K from KRBE. Your husband has put you on the Rule and Ryan show. What? Brandon! Oh, my God, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Wait, is he on right now? <laughs> no, no, he's probably okay, listening well, in the car. Can you tell him not to come home tonight? Because that be good for his safety. <laughs> I uh, I guess he just probably heard that. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you with your miles. Trust. I'm sure that it'll get into your account soon enough. But Brandon thought this would be hilarious today. Listen, I will give you all the passwords if you do this for me. <laughs> I wish I could. I won't keep you any longer today. And I just ask you to say these words for me. Can you say Special K pranked me on the Rula and Ryan show? Special K pranked me on the Roulette and Ryan show. Yes. 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 Relax today. Uh, relax. Hopefully she gets her points today. <laughs> Paris, Texas. Someone ah, just texted in them from so Paris, Texas. I've never been there before. I'm sure it's delightful. Well, you know how huge Texas is. Is that something you can there's actually drive to or you fly to that? There's a movie. No, there's, there's, a, there's a movie called Paris, Texas. There's with a Harry Dean Stanton. It's called Paris, Texas. 300 miles. That's what? 400, yeah. four, sorry, four hours away? Is that right? We had, we had Paris, Depending Texas on our driving. show during the Nutcracker Market. Oh, well, yeah. That's what Yeah. Yeah, we got that's all those cool I, shirts. Yep. Yes. Said Mama tried. Because and, they named it because Paris just sounded like... Fancy. Yeah. That's yeah, it was fancy like they're from Texas. Paris, Texas. Yeah, just fancy Texas. I, remember I right. got Casa Jose for Jose Altuve. On That's... my wife's birthday one year, uh, I obviously didn't have the money. Thanks to you guys, we got a bonus, and you gave me money. And so I, mm -hmm. I go, I can't get you to Paris, France, but I get you to Paris, Vegas. <laughs> and I had like a little thing. Oh, the Vegas. Oh, oh, Vegas. Vegas. So you went to Vegas? Thing, like 2004. I had like little dice and her birthday or her age, whatever. She turned then like 31 or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, thanks to you guys. You gave me money. I could go on that trip. Y'all went to Paris, France in Las Vegas. And I went to Paris, France last year, uh, a couple times. No. How'd you like that? 
I'm not really a fan. <laughs> I like Paris. I thought, I, it think was, it's just, I thought it was fun. You didn't like Paris, France? What would you think of it? Just trashy. What? Just trashy? I, I didn't see Paris, France trashy. was trashy? Yeah. I like, no, like, not Nice was nice and what? stuff. What? Just like the Ubers I mean, and that were so scary, like with my kids and that, like my wife and the kids and the guy almost like kidnapped him and our friend too. They're really what? How did you almost get kidnapped? I wasn't with them because I got sick, remember? And then they they're like, hey, what? And they like pulled over here and they had to get out. My friend had to get out of the car too. Uh, Uber, the Ubers there are very aggressive. If you're a woman, oh. so be careful. I did not know. Wow, that. this is the first I heard. Went with that. my daughter, wow. and uh, well, I guess it wasn't good for us. She got COVID there, so mm. no, I mean it's, it's all right. <laughs> Just uh, I mean, I see the time. Mona Lisa in that. Ooh, that's really exciting. I mean, if you're not into the, <laughs> Lou- I mean, the Louvre, I thought was very, very. It was just so your I love, I love it's art. It's not a place that you go to for just two hours. You need to spend the no, entire day No, you spend a whole day the there. Louvre. You walk into the Louvre and you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm going to go see the Mona Lisa. No. But see, you're different, That is an Eric. entire experience in itself. Here's why. Like, I, I will want to have, like, a lot of different activities planned before I even get there. So I know on this day I'm going to visit this. This day we're visiting that. This and that. I've got a guide. I'm doing this and that. And you just kind of like, you like to roll with the punches. I go with family. They can speak French and wing it. Can't, so. we, we like to do it kind of like where there's a day in between. Like you plan something, then there's an open day. Yeah, you plan right, something, right, right. Exactly. open day. Because you never know what you're going to find out about when you get there. It's like, sure. oh, but you did not hear about the volcano around the corner. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and just watch your wallet, too. You go on the Eiffel Tower. Oh, my tower. gosh. Well, all of them. All oh, of I the, watched somebody uh, get proposed the to at the, top, at the top of the Eiffel Tower. That's probably a scam. They probably did that on purpose, so you're all watching it, and then and they'll bump in and steal your crap. Paris, Texas, according to our texters, has an Eiffel Tower with a cowboy hat at the top. Oh, no. <laughs> I do not know this, but I need a picture wow. of this now. So that is sexy. Somebody listening right now has got to have a picture of that in their phone. Oh, yeah, Send I'm it sure to 37530. I want to see that. Let's see it on their phone. The people saw it in person. All right, coming up next, somebody's looking for closure. That's where you go to krve.com. Tell us what happened and what's the relationship. Is it a romantic relationship where you went on a date with somebody and you just got ghosted? Is it somebody you just lost lost touch with after all these years? We've had many different scenarios on closure. We're going to find closure for someone next on the Rule and Ryan Show. Yeah, they were in your life and then they were gone and you want some answers. Well, this is where you go to krve.com and you tell Eric this situation. We've had... Long lost friends um, after a friend divorce from years ago find each other. We've had family friends that disappeared out of the person's life find each other. Teachers and students reunited. A lot they of ghosting. Were so inspirational, but most of the time, it's somebody went out with you and they ghosted you. Come on, people, let's be better. You want to know what happened? So Elliot has reached out. Let's get Elliot's story. Good morning, Elliot. Good morning. Hi, Good Elliot. Good morning, Elliot. Who is it you're trying to get closure from this morning? From my ex, Carla. Okay, so ex girlfriend, huh. ex wife, ex what? Ex-girlfriend, we dated for a while, though. We were together for five years, and uh, about a year ago, I ended things, and I feel bad about that. Wait okay. a second. You broke up with her a year ago, and... You're the one that wants closure? Yeah, that's weird. I was unhappy in our relationship. I was drinking too much. I was in a bad place. I felt like I was in a rut. I just wanted to make a clean break. I know I hurt her, but I haven't been able to apologize or anything because she immediately blocked me. Well, it's understandable if you just broke up with her, but you said it was a year ago. Have you cleaned up your act? Are you still drinking? No. Well, that's the thing. I am in a a better place now, and I do still think about her because I feel like I want to tell her I, you know, I I always did love her, and I'm a better person now, and I feel like I should say it to her. Are you trying to say this because you want to get back with her? I just feel bad about the way things ended. I just want to apologize. It really is not about getting back together. It is only about saying, you know, our relationship ended badly, but it was, you know, nice while it lasted, and I'm sorry. Okay, so really it's closure for you to just get the apology out there. However she receives it, you want to know that it happened. You know what, Rula, it almost sounds like one of the the steps, making amends. I mean, I've heard of them in TV and movies. Mm -hmm. There are steps you take when you are an Alcoholics Anonymous. Is this part of that? I think it's more about just doing what feels right for me. Well, she is standing by. I mean, Eric did tell her why she's on here, so she's heard everything. No need to recap what we just did. Let's just let her join in the conversation, and we thank her for joining us. Good morning, Carla. Good morning. Before you say anything else, Elliot, we dated for five years. I took care of him. I took care of everything, basically. I ended up being the domestic labor, the mental emotional labor for our entire relationship, And I got nothing but I'm working on it. I'm working on me. And then he broke up with me out of absolutely nowhere and started dating two months later. 
He has a girlfriend. So what I what? don't understand is why you are obsessed with me and why you think that now is a good time for an apology because we are way past that. But he told us that, Carla, that y'all broke, that he broke up with you and that's why he wants to say, I'm sorry. He, it, it doesn't matter if he has a girlfriend now or not. Well, he didn't together. tell us that he's dating somebody else. I think that does he play. He started dating two months later. After all of the, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna do better and I'm going to work on me. Really? You jump into a relationship? I, I am sorry you have this anger still. I guess I figured you might. What happened after I left you it has nothing to do with the love that I had for you for five years. Why do you think that you deserve my time right now? You wasted five years of my life. And yeah, I cried for a long time. But I'm good now. And now you want to come back and like you, what do you, you smell my happiness and you want to like bring up old stuff. And let's not pretend that you starting to date two months after our breakup has absolutely nothing to do with your healing journey. Okay. It definitely does not sound like you're in a good place. No, it does sound like she's in a good place. She's just like perplexed as to why in God's name are you bothering her now? Well, he told if us. If you're dating somebody. Carla, he told us. It doesn't matter if he's dating somebody or not. He just wanted to apologize to you and get closure on an apology to you. See, this is the thing. This is about him. It's always about him. It has nothing to do with how this might make me feel. This is just opening up wounds for no reason. This is just what he does. Look, I don't usually defend someone that has done wrong in a relationship. However, I will say that when you know you've done someone wrong and you wonder just to let them know that you cared enough to apologize and get it out there, but you're seeing it as this is a selfish thing he's doing? Yes, I am saying that this is incredibly selfish. I blocked you for a reason, okay? You moved on, now let me move on. That's understandable. Yeah, I mean, I think it was just nuts in my own head. I thought there was like a slim chance that maybe she would be at the wedding. What? But the wedding? Uh, what? Wait, you're getting married? Hold on. Oh, sure. Sure, I'll be the ring bearer. F*** you, dude. What, did you knock her up? I agree with her. Is this the same girl that you started dating two months after the breakup with Carla? Yeah, I guess it's not even important. You can see where she's thinking you're selfish. Why do you want Carla in your life still? You hurt her. She tried to help you for five years. You were not a good in a good place. Now you are, but why do you want? Why do you think she wants to be part of this? He just doesn't want to feel guilty anymore. And you know what? Good luck with you and your new wife and probably baby on the way and not having enough therapy before actually moving on. I hope this works for six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carla hung up. Oh, damn. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I, I can't say Elliot, bye. She's gone. It's one thing you want to apologize to her, but you actually thought that, oh, well, I'll apologize to her. We'll be friends and she'll come to my wedding. Come on, man. What are you thinking? I thought you were just trying to win her back. I thought, oh. No. He's he throwing he salt in the wound, Eric. Back. He just wanted to strict apologize and get closure. But, Elliot. We were together for five years. She was an, an important part of my life. Then you weren't. You ended it. Let it go. And you caused a lot of drama for her for five years. I mean, it, it was five like. years of dragging her along with the promise that you'll get better. So she stuck in there and supported you for five years and then you dumped her. And when, when two months later, you got with somebody A new relationship. Else. And whether now he's getting married? Whether to, that's a uh, healthy relationship or not, look, I, we, we applaud anybody who has tackled their demons and gotten sober and gotten straight and all that good stuff, but you just leave the girl alone. That's fine. I mean, clearly I'm moving on. I thought, I, I guess we're done. Yeah, all right. I'd say so. Well, good luck with the marriage, I guess. I'm I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. I think this relationship uh, works better for me now. Yeah, I just Listen. don't think you should have reached out. No. I, I had a bad feeling. I, I maybe mean, she I, had I, something right there. Everything's well, about him. Well, I could have seen how you thought, okay, apology to somebody that supported me for so long and I mistreated, but not, oh, I thought she'd come to the wedding. Yeah, right there, you should. Come on, oh, man. That's yeah, like, that's bad. Well, lesson learned to everybody. Uh, thanks for reaching out to the show there, Elliot. Uh, take care there. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. You know, so mad at him on I know. I wish their phones were today. How do you oh think God, that? Uh, I'm so mad at him on text. Elliot's fiance feels about that. Why would she care? Why is he reaching out to his ex girlfriend? Like, hey, I'm getting married. He's a narcissist. He's a I mean, narcissist. he's still. Yeah, it was all. It is. It's all about him. He needed, you know, to feel good about himself. You got to ask yourself by me calling this person who I broke. You know, I know that I hurt this person. Is that going to benefit them in some way? Definitely like in, rubbing salt in the wood. Like no, in it's sports, not. when I watch a team win and they celebrate, that's easy. 
mm-hmm. when you see a team lose and how they act. Like LeBron James, that's why I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. Mm-hmm. When Jordan would get beat by the Detroit Pistons all the time, mm-hmm. could never beat them. But he went and shaked their hands and, and mm-hmm. told them good luck. Mm-hmm. And then he finally over overcome, uh, and, and he beat Detroit. And what they do? They just walked past him before the game even ended. Oh, yeah, they, they left shake the hands game. That them. was a big deal ah. in the last mm. dance. LeBron does that a lot, too. When he loses, he pouts and leaves. Yeah, it's easy when you win. To be, when you're on top and you're yep. celebrating, it's like this guy, now he's... Thrown in her face. But Remember Eric, that it's eight really o'clock. Hard to shake Remember the hand that eight o'clock when we you. play rapid fire. Eric. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm that not going to shake your hand if I lose rapid fire like so graciously. It's very um, annoying. Yep, you better <laughs> shake my hand today. <laughs> you better shake my hand. Let's see you shake my hand. Um, a lot of times. Why do, you, why do you think that he even reached out to her? I mean, like because he's a narcissist. But I mean, what does That's he? That's what get? everybody's saying. What like, does this he, guy's a narcissist. Wants to control her. What's he get out of that? He just gets like, look at me. Uh, I I was with you and you supported me, but I ditched you, and now I just want you to know I'm marrying someone else. Yeah, this girl th- doesn't under make- the guise of I just wanted to make amends, but really it's to rub salt in her. And, and why in God's name would he want to invite her to the wedding? I think he just wanted. To- you think he just said that just, just to, to hurt tell her, her, let her know that she's getting that he's getting married. We well, are gonna need a little uh, update on this, Eric. I want you to reach out to this guy in a couple of days. Say, hey man, uh, thanks for being on the show. Uh, well, I'm just curious, like, how does your fiancé feel about the phone call okay. that you were on? And <laughs> see what he says. Oh, my God. Okay, There's, that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have had to deal with this, too, I'm sure. This person sent us a text, but you know how it gets broken up if it's really big? Um, where's that one? The guy that broke up with her and then, okay, th- these men are crazy. My ex met someone the same day we broke up. Ooh. We broke up back in January of 2023. In March, he called me to tell me that the girl that he met the day we broke up is now pregnant with his baby. Oh, God. By why? the end of the year, they were living together. Why did he, he have to say he that? He sounded part? just as entitled as this guy. He wanted to hurt her. Why even tell her so, that? I mean, maybe you want to tell her that because you're, you're probably going to hear from other people that, that she's pregnant, but you don't have to say that part that the day we broke up, I met, I met her. this girl. That's, that's why, just, why add that little tip? Because even that Unless would make you want to hurt that person. Like, really, did you meet her the day we broke up, or did you already have that brewing, and that's yeah. why we broke Some up? Some people mm. can't let go to that uh, that toxicity. So was she already pregnant? Right before. And oh, then, cheated on her, and then broke up and said that story. Yes, yeah, so we're going to update straight. with this fiance situation. How is she? How is she going to react to that? <laughs> Use that texter about the top one. Which one? Anyway, so many of them. I'm just we're gonna take a picture of those. Uh, okay, <laughs> so- coming up next, uh, we oh, got yeah. tickets to see Kid Leroy. Kid Leroy is coming to Smart Financial. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no. Kid Leroy is going to be at a 713 Music Hall. Smart Financial's me, Kevin Hart tickets. Those are eight o'clock for the mm-hmm. Rapid Fire Quiz. Um, Kid Leroy is going to be at 713 Music Hall. We have that plus L Woods is coming back. Woo! But this time we get to meet her as a high school girl. We'll give you details on that in Scoop next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Please welcome Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. All right, first and foremost, let's give away some tickets to see Kid Leroy. Kid Leroy is going to perform at 713 Music Hall on Tuesday, June the 4th. And the way you can win your tickets is if you're the 104th texter to send the word KID, K I D. To 37530. That's all you got to do. Text us to 37530. Just send the word kid. We'll count down to the right number. We'll call you back because we see your phone number when you text us. And that's how you're going to win the tickets for Kid Leroy. All right. The Upfronts. We've talked about this for years. The Upfronts. ABC, NBC, Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. The Upfronts is where they premiere like, all the big things they have planned for the new TV season. That's where we um, found out about the coaches for The Voice when NBC did their Upfronts. They said that Snoop Dogg and Michael Bublé are going to be in the coaching chairs for The Voice in the next season. It used to be mm-hmm. such an gr- awesome thing. I remember even when I went to the Button Factory, I'd read the USA Today to see what the Upfronts oh, were. Did this show get picked up? What shows are they going to put oh, really? on television? Oh, yeah, I was a yeah. That's nerd. I, didn't I didn't loved realize it. that was a thing. And then all the stars of those shows would show up. And it's almost like, uh, you know, like Sam, like the Emmys or the Oscars yeah. have all the stars of all those shows. Okay, so every network's cast, all the cast would be together for this giant unveiling. Like Jimmy Kimmel would come out. Red and, carpet and all this stuff. And he would do the he'd do like a monologue and make fun of ABC, his mm-hmm. own station. And oh, then, that's cool. And then he'd promote what's coming up. Yeah. So Amazon Prime did an upfront. And here comes Elle Woods in her pink suit with her hat. Reese Witherspoon um, premiered that she would be the executive producer of a prequel series titled Elle. And it centers on Elle Woods during her high school years. 
Now, from the looks of it, you think she's playing Elle, but can she play herself as a high school kid? If they see Probably not. But they said they yeah. they have not announced the cast yet. However, it was in two thousand one. Sam, you had a good idea. Got those great lines. Yeah, her art? daughter. Her daughter should just play her. It's right. an image. They literally look identical. Yeah. Is she actually an actress? The daughter, though. She is. She does some work. There you go. Give it to her. Yeah, yeah that Nepotism would be genius. Right there. Yeah. Oh, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Absolutely. Both of her parents are. Actors, mm-hmm. yeah. Why not? So yeah. she said, "I could, I truly could not be more excited about this series. Fans will get to know how Elle Woods navigated her world as a teenager with her <laughs> distinct personality and ingenuity in ways that only our beloved Elle could do. So, what could be better than that? Like, is it hard? <laughs> so Legally Blonde happened in the nineties. Will this prequel? No, it was two thousand one. It was two thousand one. Yeah, so, and two thousand three so was a sequel. Set this." prequel in the 90s. Am I imagining? Yeah, did I have a dream or did Sex and the City try this like their high school years? They did. Yeah, what was that? They did. Like it, was on, it was on the something. CW. Yeah. It was called, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. Carrie know. Bradshaw yes. Diaries. Oh, that's what it was. How long did that I last thought they for? had something. A couple was of years. good? I just mm. need at least like one it. season of this. Like it doesn't have to be a it's continuing a good thing, about thing, but it's just there's Amazon such Prime, classics. They don't, they don't need the ratings, like they're right. bragging about, Roadhouse made had eighty million views in one month. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, the Roadhouse, yeah, with um Conor McGregor and um, Jake, Jake. Uh, Gyllenhaal. See, that's Gyllenhaal. what's so great they're about making these... the sequel now. But yeah, yeah they're, they're doing a like Roadhouse it. sequel. What do you think about that? I'm gonna watch it because they're hot. But I just want to do a better story. I, I mean, they went to the the keys <laughs> to go to a bar because he was like a beach. Road is he house playing the same? Yeah, 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 so is he like, playing the same character that Patrick Swayze was? Uh, I mean, the same name. Mm-hmm. It's Dalton. But, He's Dalton. Yeah. My, my thing is though, it's so relaxing like, there. Have you ever been to the keys? People aren't getting in fights at a tiki yeah, bar. I know. No. I know. You're They're drinking and hugging and singing no, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Right. You, 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 and, you think you know. you're making vacation friends you're going to talk to yes. on Instagram and then you never talk to each other yeah. again. But the bad guys, are, they're trying to buy the... They're trying to buy the the bar because yeah. he wants to make a big resort the bad guy. Oh. What about so yesterday when Eric sent me this thing about like, tell me how it's not true. I don't know if anybody else has ever seen this and I feel like it had run around and we didn't talk about it, Eric, but it's the dirty dancing... Uh, connection to Roadhouse to Point Break. These are all Patrick Swayze movies. That's the same character. And it shows that Johnny from Dirty Dancing, when he leaves the Kettleman's Resort or Ketterman's, whatever, Kellerman's, whatever, mm-hmm. the resort. Mm-hmm. Then he moves on to be Dalton from Roadhouse. <laughs> and then he moves on <laughs> from show, there. Like, he goes to California. He's Brody from Point Break. He couldn't take that world of killing somebody and, yeah. and, and all that. So he, remember that the character of his was more of a, not a hippie, but uh he was Zen. In Point Break? Zen, yeah, in Point Break, remember? Yeah, and, yeah, but he was still robbing he was a banks. a surfer. And yeah. then he talks about the car he had his and memory. the car he had in his memory. Like when I was younger and I had this, what was it? 57 must- Chevelle or something. Yeah, 57 Chevy. And what did and he And that's have? what he's driving in Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so Maybe they're like, just Easter eggs that they put in I there. mean, it's just kind of funny. Now, time, now, chronologically, yeah. chron- chron- chronologically, the timing would not be right because how old was Johnny supposed to be I Johnny, like Johnny lo- in Dirty Dancing? And that was set in the 50s, right? Yeah. 50s no. or 60s? I think it was 63, they said. Okay, okay. 60s. So in Roadhouse, that's set in the mid 80s. So Johnny would be considerably older. And then Point well, Break 60s, was the 90s. 20 years later, he's 20. All of a sudden, he's 40 some. He's supposed to be a wise bodyguard or a bouncer. Okay, so then Point Break his... was 90, so that would be 50 something. I mean, and it could those, be. And those, like, like Brad Pitt. Those really Brad like Pitt. Brad Pitt. 55 Brad Pitt's year old guys in, who yeah. like to like, serve. He's like 60 right. now. So they said maybe he, it's plausible. Because they showed him like fight and dirty dances, like, mm-hmm. and then he honed his skills to learn how to fight better. Because he, he yeah. wasn't really that. He beat up the guy who was bigger than him, but it wasn't very good. Yeah, fight. it shows like all these clips. Like, follow me on this. At what point did he get oh, the God. knife? In Johnny the shoe? from Dirty Dancing. <laughs> like, Wait, he wasn't the one that had the knife else. in the cowboy boot. It was uh, one of the bad guys. Yeah, henchman. Right. I don't know. I know too much of that movie. Let's just pretend like it was all true. <laughs> Johnny from Dirty Dancing changed his name to Brody in California. <laughs> Rob Banks. Brody, you've s- gone too far. Skydiving. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down in H Town. Okay, a new bombshell report claims millions of our taxpayer dollars were diverted out of Texas to help balance the books at a Colorado charter school that happened to be founded by. 
guess who? Our Houston superintendent, Mike Miles, who, by the way, Miles got $40,000 last year for consulting that school. Nice move. Miles was appointed to run Houston schools by the TEA, the Texas Education Agency, last year. Uh, Nobody likes this guy. The report says the Colorado charter schools were in the red, facing millions of dollars in debt, and that Texas charters were receiving millions of our tax-paying dollars, and uh, they diverted those funds Imagine, if, like, to the Colorado school. They say you're a teacher, and, you, and he lives right next to you. Oh, God. He's the most hated man you in Houston. You see this I guy think. every day? Ugh. Community Voices for Education are calling for a federal criminal investigation into Mike Miles. And by the way, there will be a protest. Uh, Houston ISD families plan to protest Saturday morning at City Hall, 10 a.m., right there at 901 Bagby Street. Now, uh, shout out Frank Billingsley, uh, the Houston weatherman who's been on... Meteorologist. He's a meteorologist. He's been on local TV, rain or shine, since 1989. Uh, Remember we first had him on when he... Did his book swabbed and found? Right. Found I think before that, we yeah. never want to be a DJ. Yeah. We never, um, oh, yeah. DJ the stars. DJ the stars, right. So I remember uh, when Frank was diagnosed with prostate cancer back in 2018. That's where the two of us kind of bonded. We did an event together um, because he actually tried a, a clinical trial, including um, injecting these gold nanoparticles in his bloodstream, and he beat it. So he's just, he's an amazing guy. He kept viewers informed on air and through social media. Found his family, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yes. He was like, like, let's let's talk about that. That book, Swabbed and Found. He's one of the first people to do that. Yeah. From the the DNA um, kits. Finding out who his real family is. Yeah. If our phones worked. Yeah, 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 I guess we could call him. We can call out. People can't call 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 in. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the rapid fire quiz. We've got Kevin Hart tickets. He's going to be at Smart Financial Center on September the 20th. But how are we going to play the rapid fire quiz if you can't can call us? Text. Well, we can call you. So you text us if you want to play rapid fire quiz. But what's the word going to be? Quiz? Or just, or just put your name. Put oh, your name. yeah. That, just we, send us we'll your name. The, we'll grab the first we'll, like, we'll grab name. Five random names. Yeah. We'll call you back. Pick who so you answer want. Answer the phone if you get an unknown number oh, calling yeah. you. Say your name and who you want to play for you. And then we'll each pick the person that wants to play with us. Yeah. We'll write that number down. So and text then, that. And gra- car- grab them. And yeah. my name is spelled R-O-U-L-A. I'm just saying. And mine is W-I-N-N-E-R. <laughs> Oh, my Winner. God. I'm eye-rolling so hard right now. <laughs> and then my eyes hurt. Because you, could, you couldn't Still in the back it? of and my that text head. Number, that text number is? 37530. 37530. Turn your mic off. So hopefully nobody texts Maybe I shouldn't say that I'm stabbing you. <laughs> Did I get stabbed? <laughs> Eric gets stabbed later today. Push him in. Push we him heard in. Sam say it. Push him in. Can you imagine <laughs> that national show? Oh, they'll gosh. say, um, a radio show <laughs> in Texas. It turns to violence during a quiz. No, they give us credit. It was just a trivia. They don't give you credit when you do good things, yeah. but when you do something bad, they'll say your full name. Rule and Ryan Only they'll say the stabber's full name. <laughs> the stabber. Because she's a mother of a one-year-old. Stabbed her coworker over the wrong answer to a trivia question. <laughs> All right, 37530, tell us your name. Pick the person on the show you want. So it's Rule Ryan, Eric Special K, Sam, or Ahmad, A-H-M-A-D. Ahmad had the uh, win last week. Mad. He's going for uh, a 3 Mad. Yeah. Uh, or is it a five peat? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> oh, it's yeah. been a long time. I think it's three. Let's see what happens next on the Rule and Ryan show.